What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm still not used to wearing a mic. I'm very still used to yelling that as loud as I can. <laughs> but I don't have to do that anymore. Um, today I just got in a package from Wonder Pens, which is a fountain pen stationery store in Toronto, Ontario. Um, and you're going to be surprised by what I purchased. I bought all of this with my own money. Two things, three things are Twisby related. <laughs> so this is the Twisby I already have. This is the Twisby Eco T. Um, and I actually love this thing now because I modified it. So I made the tines a little bit wider uh, and I cut into the feed uh, a little bit to make it much wetter. And now I really, really like it. So I thought I would buy two more things from Twisby to see if I can give it a final chance to like not be so sucky anymore. <laughs> uh, I am aware that every time I buy something Twisby, I'm going to have to modify it. I do not like their factory settings, but the thing that I love about this now is it writes the way that I want to now. Uh, nib is still stiff because I mean it's just going to be that way forever it's just the, the character of that nib um, but it finally writes wet enough for me the only thing that I will always hate about Twisby and not that there's anybody from Twisby watching this video but if there is somebody watching that knows how to get in contact with Twisby beyond just like you know customer feedback tell them to make better feeds everything about their pen is top-notch quality I've never once have I denied that. Their build quality is unparalleled, but their feeds suck. They're so delicate um, and they just, they can't handle anything. And considering the whole like <clears throat> thing behind Twisby is that you can take it apart and like fully clean it, disassemble it. They give you the wrench, they give you the uh, silicone grease. The fact that their feeds are so delicate and will just snap and bend so easily is insane. So Twisby. Come on, bro. It's like, don't skip leg day. <laughs> so the first uh, Twisby pen that I bought is their newest. I've already taken the outer sleeve off uh, because packaging doesn't really matter. Uh, and that is the Twisby. Oh my God, I've forgotten what it's called now. <laughs> the Twisby Go, I think. Twisby Swipe, Twisby Swipe. I'll have it down here. I'm pretty sure it's Twisby Swipe. It's the thing that comes with a million different options. <laughs> so uh, I got the green one, which is the, the newest color. Uh, the salmon one that came out uh, did not do it for me whatsoever. The blue one didn't really do it for me either. Um, the slightly transparent smoky black one is fine, um, but I like the green. Um, and I have a feeling they'll come out with like a billion colors. Uh, from now on. This is not going to be the review. I will do a review of each pen individually, but this is the one that comes with like the springy push converter dealy. And then it comes with like another little package here with uh, a spare spring that you can put in their regular twisty converter if you so chose to do so. Uh, and then their giant freaking cartridges. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I got a fine nib on this pen and the other pen uh, because my intention is to try and remove the nib and feed from these pens and do the same thing to them for what I did to the Eco T. Uh, spoiler though, I have tried on both pens already and neither of them want to come out. The nib and feed are cemented in the pen and because the feeds are incredibly weak i'm very nervous to keep trying um because yeah they just they have no integrity the fins on the feed uh so i likely am going to be stuck with it which means i won't be happy with them which means i'll probably sell them because i recognize that a, a, the vast majority of people love Twisby pens the way that they are and that's totally cool it's just not for me I want to be able to modify and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that which is sad because I was really wanting to be able to modify this one uh, and this is the Twisby uh, Diamond ALR 
and it is the blue finish here. I'll have the actual name here. I don't remember off the top of my head what it's actually called, um, but I have had a couple different diamonds in my day, uh, and they are my favorite Twisby pen by in large as far as the build quality, the actual like feel of the pen. Uh, and I've never tried the ALR version. I've only ever had the AL. Um, and this one has little grooves in the metal up here and on the grip section here. So um, I kind of like the way that it feels. Uh, I know it's polarizing, not everyone does. Uh, and I suppose maybe that was so it wasn't so slippery, but I don't know. This actually feels a little more slippery than what I remember, but I haven't used an AL in a very long time. Um, so those are the two Twisby pens that I got. We shall see if I can modify. Uh, and I also got Twisby's new pipe, I think is what they're calling it. Um, so that you can, if I can get this out, maybe. <laughs> oh, they even have little orange nibbies on it. Uh, oh, but there's no pre-cut in the plastic. Oh boy. Well, it's off now. <laughs> so you can attach it to the ends of, oh, my gosh, these little orange nibs are really tough to get out. There we go. So you can attach it to the end of either like a cartridge um, so that you can like dip it into like the bottom of like a, a ink bottle and fully operate it, get the last of your ink out of the bottle. Uh, of course, doing it this way, you won't get ink all over your uh, nib and feed, which is cool, but you also won't saturate it, which means you're going to have to wait for the um, capillary action and or prime the feed uh, and you'll lose a little bit but you know whatever uh, and then for the diamond you just unscrew the housing and then you can actually take the pipe and insert it like such uh, so that's kind of cool i have a couple ink bottles that are a pain in the dickens to fill from so uh, i thought i'd pick that up and give that a try i like the fact that you can use it across these models and the cartridges as well. This one actually seems well-made like everything with Twisby. I've tried the snorkel from like Paneider uh, and I've also tried one other, but I can't remember the brand was. Either way, I didn't like either of them. They're kind of useless. One of them broke right as soon as I got it and I just didn't even bother doing anything else with it. Uh, and it was pretty useless. So, you know, it happens. Uh, and then the last thing I bought <laughs> is a Pilot Iro Shizuku ink. Uh, this is Sakushi. It's not my favorite brown ink. Um, it is, it's a good ink. It is a solid brown ink. It does have a little bit of shading. Uh, I do like the base color. Um, all of the Iro Shizuku line behaves really, really well. Um, so it's a solid ink. Uh, and the reason why I bought it is just solely because it's gone. You, you, they're not making it anymore. They're discontinuing the ink. Um, and I don't wanna have a, a, a regret <laughs> of not picking it up. Uh, because I do very much like brown inks, warm inks. This is on the cooler side of brown, um, but I've used it many times. I did have like the little 30 mil bottles that they used to make, um, and I went through almost all of it before I just got rid of the bottle. I kind of had enough of it, and I was like, I'm done with this ink, and I pretty much was. <laughs> I never really looked at it again, but since they are getting rid of it, I thought I'd pick up a bottle. Most retailers I know are already sold out of theirs um, because, well, everybody buys a bottle when they say they're not gonna you know, make it anymore. Um, but Wonder Pens still has this, at least as far as uh, filming goes, what is today? Today is 
Saturday the 26th of March so they still have it in stock uh, so any Canadians definitely check it out Americans I believe they ship to the US um, but I don't think they ship anywhere else I could be wrong check out wonderpens.com uh, to find out uh, because they do still as of today the filming have it in stock so I bought the two pens the pipe and the ink so that is my haul um, the reviews of each of these pens will certainly come out uh, one by one um, again I'm a little dismayed I was really actually excited about these I won't lie I was actually really excited about these because I thought I'd be able to modify like I have to this eco uh, and this has a medium nib which is a little too broad for me um, not a deal breaker or anything but you know um, so I got the fine so I'm gonna be disheartened if I can't because I can't get the nib and feed out but we'll see I'm gonna try some stuff I'm gonna try and get creative and you know we shall see <laughs> uh, so let me know between uh, these three things the pipe the ALR and the Twisby swipe which one you would like to see first and I will prioritize that for you all uh, but if you like this video hit that like button if you liked it a lot but haven't done so already do subscribe there's new videos every Monday and Friday also check the links below for my discord and patreon account uh, the discord link does expire every two weeks uh, so if it is expired just leave a message and i will update it uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys i appreciate it if you're still watching 12 and a half minutes in you are the reason why i make these videos and i'll see you next time bye all right my beautiful patrons thank you all for your support if you have recently supported me uh, as a vip patron or above uh, and don't see your name, don't fear. This was recorded February 26th, so it will be there as soon as I can get it updated. So we have our ultimate human is Daniel Roddy. And for my VIP fans, we've got Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Stuart Riley, Ute Cruiser, Victor Portugal, Bass, Weili Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcore, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Susan Barrier, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Jennifer Galfi, Karen Epstein, Lucy Peralta, Gretchen Peters, and DigitalTent.Tech. Uh, for those who are not VIP tier or above, it does not matter. I still appreciate that you're here uh, and that you make all of the difference. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.